What's up, family? I'm Otten L. Bay. This is just Danny. <laughs> this your girl, Fats, y'all. <laughs> and this is the Culture Effect Podcast, where we bring you content from the culture that affects you. Peace, peace, family. What's good with y'all? Peace, peace. What's up? All right, all right. Okay, check this out. So, how was y'all weekend? Because, you know, I always ask y'all, how was y'all weekend? How was y'all weekend? It was cool, I don't, you know. Well, you know, chilled back, got a little sick a little bit, so I stayed in the bed. But two days in was kicking, and I'm back to normal. Right. My weekend was, I really don't be remembering my days, but I think my weekend was good, I guess. <laughs> okay, like, I, I, I had a, a, a Sunday, like my girls meet up, so that was dope. I can I count that as the weekend. My days be like, you know, so I don't be knowing, but I guess. No, I can dig it. Sometimes it be like that. For sure. You feel me? All right, so look, okay, let's go into the top. Boom, 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 boom. Fight done. Now we're going to go ahead and do part two. We came to y'all last week about why do men and women cheat? All right. Now we're coming to y'all this week with how to keep a woman and how to keep a man. So everybody's opinions is going to be all oh, so different. But it's good to hear the different opinions from a man and a woman. And you have two right. women here that might have the same opinions or different opinions. We never know. And you have a male perspective on why women cheat um, and why men cheat. So we're going to still give our both same opinions on that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go into Mr. Um, Anton Bay, my bro bro, on this one. All so right. I okay. The first question for you. Y'all want me to go first. Go ahead. What's the so question for, for you? Why? Or let's no no no. How? Sorry about that. Not the why, but how can a woman keep a man? How can a woman keep a man? Okay. So from from a um a man's aspect, right? Mm -hmm. From my aspect, actually. From you know, I'm not talking about because everybody has their own different uh, perspective. You, you you dig? So mm -hmm. I think first and foremost. It's loyalty and trust, right? Everybody, and, then, and that goes both ways, right? Everybody wants loyalty and trust. And I think that is a significant thing um, because you don't want to be sleeping with the enemy. You feel me? I, You know, we might be pillow talking. You know, I, you know I'm not me, but I'm saying the guy might hit that thing real good and y'all you know, laying down in the bed and he might want to tell you something that he ain't told his own homies or whatnot or his own friends. And he might spill something in your ear but he has to have that loyalty and trust, you know what I'm saying, to where she ain't going to go back and, and, and tell her homegirl that, you know what I'm saying, to her family that. And so that's the first thing, right, is loyalty and trust. And I've dealt with unloyal women in the past, you know what I'm saying, and it, and it's not a good feeling because I'm a loyal guy at heart in general. You get what I'm saying? Um, and secondly, uh, and this should have been number one, sex. I, I, it should have definitely been number one. Sex. I'm. I'm just saying, and this is my opinion, but I know it ain't everything, but it is like ninety percent of it. I'm just saying, like you got. I mean, it, she got to be able to treat a man how he's supposed to be treated, how he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying all the time or, or every day, but when he gets it, it needs to be right. You know what I'm saying? It has to be right. You can't be. You know what I'm saying? Um, half doing it. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too uh, specific because we are on YouTube and I don't want my, my, my uh, video to get flagged. But yeah, the third one is submissiveness. And it'd be a lot of you, hold on. It'd be a lot of African-American females that have females that have problems with being submissive. And I'm not saying being submissive totally. Right, I'm not saying because I don't want no woman that's just straight like 
um, dumbfounded and every time I say something, she's going to do what I say. I'm not saying that. I'm saying know to be submissive at the right times or know to be submissive when, you know what I'm saying, when you should be submissive. And a man should be submissive as well when he when he should be submissive, right? Because there's nothing wrong with a man being submissive and telling his wife or his woman, okay, baby, what you say goes. Um, I remember, I'll, I'll never forget this. I met a man, I, I was like 20 years old, right? I was like 20 years old and I met this guy. Uh, I, I can't recall where I met him at, but it was an old guy uh, and he was with his wife for like 30 years at the time, right? He probably passed away by now. But when he told me, I said, I asked him, I said, man, how you been with your wife for 30 years? Because during the time I was young and I was going through my thing with my oldest, my oldest son's mother, and I was ready to leave. And I was like, so how did you, how did you be with your wife for so long? He says, because when, when, when I'm right, even though, even though I'm right, she's right. She said, even he said, even though I'm right, she's right, and that, and that and that spoke like a, that's my favorite word. It spoke volumes to me. Even though I be wrong sometimes, or I be right sometimes, whatever my wife say goes. You know what I'm saying? I let her, I let her roll with her vibe. You know what I'm saying? And, and whether it's wrong or right, I'm gonna stick by her side. So submissiveness is the third one, and then the last one I'm gonna say this. It's about being balanced. I'm talking about females and males at this point. Being being having balance, right? So males need, needing to know their feminine side, right? Males need to know their feminine side and women needing to know their masculine side, right? So we don't want you to be submissive all the time. Not at all. We want you to be able to, uh, when I can't do it, I need you to do it. I need you to be out there be hard sometimes. I need you to tell them motherfuckers no. You know what I'm saying? I need to tell you, you know, be, be stern, be firm, stand 10 toes down. I need you to do that like I would. You know what I'm saying? And so it, it's about balance. So I'm going um, to get in tune with my feminist side. She's going to teach me how to be caring. She's going to teach me how to be loving because a lot of us don't know how to do that. A lot of men don't know how to do that. So she's going to teach me how to be loving, caring, um, not, 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 uh, not to be able to bark all the time. Sometimes I need to uh, evaluate the situation before I speak. I, I didn't know how to do that until I met my wife. You know what I'm saying? I, as soon as I heard something, I'm, uh, I'm born, right? But my wife taught me how to chill out, relax, you know? And so that's what I, that's what I think. So Danielle, or just Danny, All it's right. on you. What do you think? All right, so. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. Whew. So this is going to be geared to, towards, it's, it's, so this, let me just say this real quick before I get into it. So I heard this today and it had me really thinking like, dang, that's kind of true. So this person said, why do men make things so complicated, right? Really complicated. Mm. I was like, nah, nah, not really. I said, so this is the thing. Typically, typically a man just want to be heard. He wants to have love, respect, honesty, all that. You don't hear a man saying, I need a woman with six figures. She got to have this and this and this and this. None of that. She got to have all that. You don't really hear that. You, you don't hear, hear that. From a woman, though. You hear it from yep. a woman before you ever hear it from a man. You're right. And somebody told me, nah. And nah. I'm like, yeah, think about it. Think about it because I don't hear that. I mean, not even growing up, I heard my father or, or my uncles or anybody saying, okay, well, yeah, he got it. She got to have this, this, and this, and this. No, they was just like, I'm just looking for somebody to love me and know my worth. That's all I'm looking for. So I think women make it more complicated than men do. I'm on glad you said aspect, that. On that aspect. Um, so to go into, to keep a man, um, I, I mean, I got to just still venture off from you because you've said a lot. Um, and, you know, the woman has to understand that whatever you did in the beginning to catch him is what you need to continue to do throughout the whole relationship and don't stop it just because you're saying, okay, well, guess what? Woo, I got him. I snagged him. I ain't got to work no more. No, a relationship still takes work. A marriage takes work too. So it's going to be the same thing as you need to continue that thing. So if you was telling him he looked hot, 
sexy. He smelled good. If you was taking food to work, honey, keep doing it because he is noticing that that is what attracted him to you in the first place. So you have to continue it, even if it may slow down some because both of you guys have a busy schedule. But when you have those surprise moments on, OK, let me let me just pull up, give him breakfast, give him this. He's going to be like, damn, she did it. And knowing damn well, she had to be to work or something. And she stopped within her day to still come and do that. So they pay attention to those little little things that may seem like it's crazy to us, but it's the littlest things that they really will care about. So I think that's that too. And it's just the open communication, um, honesty, the loyal, the loyalty is a big one for men. I And that's just me saying that I think loyalty is that big one for men because um, men have been, of course, cheated on just like women, but we're talking about the men's perspective right now. So men have been cheated on. So men are not usually the ones to, you know what I'm saying? Be like so trusting in the beginning than a woman will be. So for that, we don't want to take advantage of that um, as well. So I think that's a big one, too. Um, I don't know. I think I've said you've said a lot, bro. Like you've really touched on a lot of how to keep a man. Um, yeah. so I'm going to go down to um, my girl Fats here and get her opinion on how to keep a man. Um, look, she's over here about to laugh and she she crazy. She, she like she from the she from the vomit or something. She, she about she about to spill it. She about to spill it. You know she is. But <laughs> we about to hear what she got to say, and then we gonna flip it around, y'all, and then we gonna talk about how how is it is to keep a woman. So Sh right. uh, Shanante, let's go ahead and go fat. I don't feel like I am suitable to have this conversation because like I said if I if I knew how to keep a man I would have a solid man <laughs> um but for me like for for I think it, it has a lot to do with compassion and understanding um you know our men are they deal with a lot of trauma too you know um they deal with a lot of trauma that has their minds like in another place and of course everybody sees things differently you know what i mean so our men are more closed off um they they not they're not so willing or open to showing emotion right because it's against the societal rules type shit. so just to be compassionate and be understanding like um have patience you know what i mean and i'm not saying just go through a whole bunch of fuck shit or nothing like that what i'm saying is you know be willing to be open and be willing to communicate with a man um so that he can have someone to come to and feel free to open up to you know what i'm saying they already may feel like the world is against them so your point in place in that situation will be to let them know like uh what is who can i run to who so, can you run hey, to hey. <laughs> you feel me, run to me okay you know what i'm saying uh, and not be so like aggressive, even though, like you said, I think like the women have a masculine side too. But we, a lot of times, women let our emotions get in the way. You know what I'm saying? Um, because we have a fixed image in our mind of how we expect things to go. But that does not necessarily mean the way that you see it's supposed to go is the way that it's really supposed to go. Um, right. If we knew better, we'll do better. And our whole history is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? We don't have. We don't really have a lot that we can go off of because of all of the damages and the traumas of our history and our uh, elders and ancestors and stuff like that. Um, so for me, it's just like being being able to be compassionate, being mm -hmm. able to always come from a heart space um, instead of letting your, your emotions, like you do have to have logic in some situations, but just be willing to be vulnerable um, as a woman. Yeah. And, and and be willing to not be scared that you're gonna lose him if this happens. I don't, like you, I don't really know how to how to go that go that route. But everything happens how it's supposed to happen anyway. You know what I'm saying? And right, we may be, um, we may we all play different parts, like or different. We all have different roles to play in different people's lives, type shit. So just to oh. not be like so nagging, just go like being free, just go with the flow. Um. Just go with the flow and don't try to force them to do what you think they're supposed to be doing, if you ask me. Like I say, being compassionate. All I can think about is compassion and understanding. So that's what it would be Absolutely. mostly for me is just to be there 
Um, absolutely, absolutely. In a gentle space, like delicate with them. Because we, like I said, we already know they got a lot of shit going on against them. And we don't want to keep them in that that trap mind state of everybody mm -hmm. being against me. Damn, I even got to come home and deal with this shit. Like, right. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, just being more compassionate mm -hmm. and understanding will be my per perceptive person. <laughs> just being compassionate and understanding will be my perspective on the, the, the qualities, I guess, a woman should have in order to keep a man. That's Indeed. Awesome. I, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. We're going to just say this too before we get on to the next one. So, gentlemen and ladies that are going to be watching this, definitely chime in. Make sure you are commenting below this video. If you have any other things to say about this, definitely. We, we want to hear it. I would love to hear it. I'm pretty sure my love brother wants to hear it. I need to hear it. So if you, if you want to chime in on this conversation, please do so we can go ahead and listen in and comment back to you. Help All me, right? help me. So, look at that. Okay, look, she over here like, please tell me, tell me. Help me, help me, okay? Help me, help me. Hey, on that note, we're going to go to commercial break. We'll be right back. Family, what's good with it? You know what I'm saying? We back in the building, the culture gang. You know what I'm saying? You got Antonio Bay, Just Danny, and Fats. You understand me? You know what I mean? We back in the building, and we was just on the um, topic of how to keep your man and how to keep your woman. And this is the thing is like, because I'm single, so I'm kind of like, I know what I want, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I don't want to shoot it too far. So let me just say this, how to keep a woman. Um, of course, we're going to go with still the honesty, the loyalty. We're going to go with knowing her worth. I think that's a big one for me um, is because I've been in past relationships where, you know, they didn't know my worth. I, and, and that is what made me back away from a lot of it is because, look, hey, I do a lot. And, you know, you find a woman that's doing everything. She's she's hardworking at home. She comes home, take care of the kids. Sometimes we just need you to be there. Sometimes, how about look, run me a bath if you make it home before me. Run me a hot bubble bath with some music and my favorite wine. How about that? Or how about have the dinner already ready? You know what I'm saying? Stop always waiting for me to get home to do it. So I think that's one too. Is just like, hey, pitch in because we are a team. And I think that's another things of why um, relationships get divided is because there is no, a lot of people have the presumption that women supposed to be the only cookers in the house. We supposed to be the only ones washing and, and putting up all the laundry. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's no, no, no. That's not how I go. Come pitch in with me. Maybe come cook with me or, you know, Hey, I understand if I come home first, I'm going to make sure dinner is prepared. You straight. You know what I'm saying? Everything is done for you, so do the same for me. I think that's the thing where women um, find it more difficult to deal with because we want the matching. We want you to meet us at the same era that you're, we supposed match to- Match the energy. Right, match it. So if I'm doing all of this, I want you to do it for me too. We can't both be saying, oh, we're tired. We don't want to do it. No, no, no. We need to do this. So I think that's one of the big ones is matching of that energy, like you said. Um and like I said, just making sure you know our worth. Consistency is key and communication. I need you to be consistent with me. Um, what, just like I said, with, with the man, whatever you was doing in the beginning, continuously do it. Right. Don't stop doing what you were doing. If you was telling right. me I look good every day on morning and kissing me on the cheek, let me wake up one day where you did not kiss me on my cheek. I'm going to think you fucking. You get what I'm saying? So that's the problem. So that's, that's, that's continuously doing what you was doing to have me this whole time and we will be straight keeping your energy with me we will be straight so i think that is a bit here women want the emotional attachment if we don't have the emotional attachment we push ourselves away right 
So that is a big one too, is to be emotionally attached to you. And right. if you are not emotionally attached, that becomes a problem. So you, you want to make sure you're keeping her just like you want her to keep you in all areas too. So that is my opinion on it, ladies and gents. All right, let me, let me, if y'all don't mind, can I go next? Sure. I, because I want to go next. So see, now it's time for me to teach the fellas how to keep a woman. You feel me? Now check it out. I've been with my wife for 16 years. Now I can speak about this, you did. And I'm gonna get in my bag. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be you know, I'm real confident. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, y'all need to learn from me. I've been with my wife for 16 years, going on 17 years. I had to do something right, right? So, fellas, if you're listening, please pay attention. First and foremost, listen to her. Mm. Listen to her. Women love to, to talk, real talk. And that and that and that and that's a known scientific fact. Women talk more than men, right? Mm -hmm. But listen to your woman, but not just hear her, listen to her. You get what I'm saying? Because she might be dropping jewels to you. She might be talking about something that happened at work, right? But while you while she's talking to you about what happened at work, it's little jewels she dropping that you could get and do to make her feel better outside of that. You get what I'm saying? So first and foremost, listen, 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 listen. And I have been, I ain't gonna, and, and I'm gonna tell you fellas, I'm gonna tell the fellas this, they, they, gonna, they might get mad. If you're not listening, act like you're listening. It'll help you, all right? So listening, right? I listen, though. I really do listen. So listen, and then the second thing, from my opinion, how I, I feel like I kept my wife, like Danny B just said, help out, bro. Get your ass up and get in that kitchen and cook, homie. Clean a little bit. You don't got to be in there scrubbing toilets or nothing. But hey, pick up the vacuum. When she walking in, we running that vacuum, man. You know what I'm saying? We running that vacuum. Wash them dishes, bust some suds. You get what I'm saying? So it won't be all on her because women do go through a lot as well. And, 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 and women are emotional creatures. Um, I think Fast touched on that. Mm -hmm. And um, I understand that. Um, I grew up around a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? Shit, 90% of my cousins are girls. You know what I'm saying? It's all <laughs> girls. And so I understand that. And um, and then I was raised by a single mother. You know, and uh, I see my mama emotionally torn at, at, at points in her life. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, as I got older, I understood that emotions is everything for a woman. Um but like I say, cooking and cleaning, man, just helping out. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know about you guys. I could cook. You know what I'm saying? I could cook. Like the men in my family, we can cook. I don't know about the other guys. We could cook. I could bust out some lasagna for you, some fajitas. I, I cook egg rolls, hot tamales, all that. You know what I'm saying? I do my thing. Right, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I, <laughs> he said I cook egg rolls, tamales. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, though. I cook good. Ask my wife. I swear to God. But anyway, I do that. And then, and then, and then, um, and then, uh, thirdly, or fourthly, rather, I think it's fourth. Bang it out! You gotta bang it out, fellas. You can't be. You, I don't want to get too ex uh, explicit and all that. You gotta bang it out, man. Give it a good stroke. Give it a long stroke. Give it a good stroke. That's. I mean, that has to come. You can't be no one minute man. All that. If you and I'm gonna tell the fellas a secret now. Hold on. And, and I'm not. I had to. Do, I did this. Just because I wanted to do it, I didn't do this because I'm because I'm not good, right? But break out some toys, homie. Go to the store, get out some toys. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucking little that little rabbit, that little rabbit thing. That shit go a long way, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, that little rabbit thing. What is it called? A rabbit, right? Yeah. That thing. Get that thing, right? Get that. Get you some lube. Get you some oil. You some get you some essential oils and stuff, man. Rub your woman down. Learn how to uh go on YouTube. That's what I do. It's called YouTube University, right? Go go on YouTube. Learn how to massage a woman. You know, massage that butt cheek. You know what I mean? Massage that thigh. Get in there with the elbow like this. It's just just the movement right here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You doing one leg as you do another leg. I'm just saying, brother. That's how you keep a woman, man. Uh, to keep a woman, you have to uh, pamper her. To make it, to make a long story short, pamper her, man. Make her feel good. And 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 and, and, and I noticed this from my relationship with my wife. It's the small things. It's the little things. A lot of women don't want. Like, see, see nowadays you got these girls rapping in uh, Magna Stallion, the Miami girls, whatever they call. They like to talk about all the Birkin bags and all that. 
A lot of women don't need that. A lot of women just want they want your time. They want you to just be there and, and massage them and take care of them like that. You know what I mean? Cook for them. Just a uh, fifteen dollars, man. Go go get you some onions, some bell yeah. peppers, some garlic. Chop that thing up, man, and feed her. She appreciates you for that. You get what I'm saying? And then lastly, but not leastly, if that's the word, money. You got to take care of them. You got to provide, man. We're all men. We're all men. My grandfather, my grandfather provided for my grandmother. You get what I'm saying? Um, my 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 friends, my uh, my uncles, my cousins, they provide for their women. I provide for my women. Provide. Now, I'm not saying you have to all. Sometimes we we, we might hit a uh, a rock in the road, right? We might hit a bump in the road, right? But as long as that that lady know that you're a provider and that you provided in the past. She gonna see you through that through that troubling time. It might be a year or two. It, it never know how long it might be, but she know once you come up out that hall, you got her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, last but not least, is to is to make some money, man. Get that. Don't be don't be living off no woman, homie. I know I know. Um, you know when I was younger, we used to listen to these rappers and all that, and they talking about you know uh, how to how to pick a girl and how to do all that. That's mm -hmm. that's if you over 30, man, leave that alone. When you're young, do your thing. You're young, do your thing, man. If she gonna give you your money, take it. I don't care. I mean, if she give you the money, take it, homie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. But every woman ain't like that. All that's like a, a small percentage of women that's just gonna give you her money and you laying around not doing nothing. That's a that's a woman that has been um that has been um mistreated. She might not have had a father in her life. Uh, whatever it might be, but she's a score. She's a messed up woman. Um, but you should try to build her up out of that instead of taking her money and, and abusing her. That's just my 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 thoughts on it, my perspective, man. I hope that helped y'all, fellas. That's what's up. <laughs> so I like that though. So now it's on me. Yes, now on you. It's on me. Y'all gonna make me the last one, but now I got to go out with a bang. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I um, thought you knew. Well, we on how to keep a woman. <sighs> For me, it is dang, and I had them. <laughs> now I'm at a loss for words. I didn't got stuck all this to y'all conversations and shit. Um, man, how y'all can keep a woman? Mm -hmm. For one, same thing, you know, be compassionate, be understanding towards her. Um, there was a specific word that I had, and I cannot. It's not coming to me. For one, I knew that I was thinking like, okay, show me affection. Like, you know, your, your nurturing side, your loving side type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Just like right. men deal with certain things on the outside, women deal with a lot. We we hold in a lot because we feel like, you know, we don't be wanting other people to get caught up in our emotions or right. caught up in the way we feel and we think about something. So just be there for me. And I think I can touch on that, just being there, you know? Right. Um, basically, like, put into me just like I'm going to be able to put into you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Um, the energy of reciprocity is real. I can't just be pouring myself out, pouring myself out, and doing everything, and then nobody is putting back into me on the opposite side, you know? Mm. Um, I'm taking care of the household. I'm doing certain things. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's Washing the clothes, making dinner, doing whatever needs to be done. Amen. Since I'm making the house go and making sure everybody's straight, I still need somebody to return that energy to me. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So just being there Absolutely. to support me. Um, and I'm saying me because this is a personal aspect of the situation. <laughs> but so, just, being, yeah. just being supportive um, and and. And, and matching my efforts. That's what I wanted to say. Collectively matching my effort, right? Because mm -hmm. women go hard when they really want something, right? Women try to put in 100%. Um, and it, that's, people be like, you know, it's supposed to be 50-50. Some people even set up a 60-40. No, I want 100-100. Like, we both can be putting in 100% around here and then elevating at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, and that leads to my third one, which would be, you know, be willing to elevate. Like, don't just try to be stuck and stagnant into what we've always been used to or what we think we know. Always be willing to grow. Um, right. 
we got a life to live. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just be like, oh, like one of y'all, I think Bali Wolf, y'all touched on it. Like consistency. Danny, I know you was talking about it. Right. Being consistent in what you do, but not just doing the same thing. Philip, you got me and we've just been picnics in movie theater or something. Yeah, that may still spark the moment, but let's still grow. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into and other things. You know what I'm saying? We can do more. Don't be, don't get lazy with it. Um, yeah. But for the most part, it's just still being compassionate and understanding, um, matching my efforts, and, and being able to put into me just like I try to put into you. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think that sums it up for me at the most part. Absolutely. And, and I want to touch on this before we go. Um, definitely, fellas, evolve, right? Absolutely. So, like, I think um, one of the reasons why me and my wife been together for so long because I've evolved, right? When I met my wife, I was 23 years old, man. And I, was, I wasn't I who I am now. You know what I'm saying? The guy with the tiger eye on his wrist and, you know, the, the organite on his chest. Like, I wasn't that guy. You know what I'm saying? I was a street guy. You feel me? I was, I was out there, and I had that mindset about uh, – you know, it was all it was all giving, it was all taking, no give, right? And so I evolved from that, and my wife seen the evolution in me, right? And she seen the evolution in me. She seen every year I start to change, and and I, and I start to, but I, I came into myself. I start coming into myself, and my my wife realized that I, I start coming into being a better man. And so it wasn't no longer the picnics it was like let's take a trip to cali now we going now we, we ain't just taking picnics we going we going to new york we, we doing this we doing that we going fish you know what i mean like just different things just evolving as a man and um lo knowing and learning that you that you have a queen uh, upon you if you have that queen every woman and a queen every man and a king right but if you got that good one make sure you evolve fellas you can't keep doing the same thing. You got to do better. Like Shanante yeah. said earlier, if you know better, if you knew better, you'll do better. Oh, yeah. If you knew better, you'll do better. And that's what it is. So we're going right. to go ahead wait, wait, wait. and pass one it one to Danny B. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Um, be willing to get uncomfortable or to be uncomfortable. Because when you do evolve and you do elevate, like, shit ain't going to be what you thought it was. You know what I'm saying? And it's going right. to make you feel uncomfortable. You know, it, Something as small as learning how to properly and healthy and have a health, have a proper and healthy communication. You know what I'm saying? Um, sure. Some people like to shut down and they don't know how to really, uh, you know, exchange their words or get their point across. You know what I'm saying? So just be right. willing to to be uncomfortable sometimes. Um, still goes back into being vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking that somebody always out to get you. Um, and just be you. Be accept who you are and be willing to grow in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Danny, you, you got it. You got it. I got it now. All right. So look, y'all, before we end this, um, what we're going to be doing. Um, so two things. Number one, I want to support this small business. Um, this person is actually related to me through marriage. Um, however, she has grown, man, tremendously in her business. So I wanted to put her out there. I want you guys to go support her. She has her Absolutely. TikTok. Um, her TikTok is Glamour Made, exactly as it is, Glamour Made. Her Glamour Instagram, Made. Her Instagram is also Glamour Made. Her name is Jex Jessica. Tell Jessica Danielle sent you, okay? Just say Danielle Absolutely. sent you. Say your sister sent you. She going to know exactly who I am. So I'm going to tell y'all, she copied... Let me tell y'all, my business card for my business is the same color as this. I said, I need you to copy that same color onto a cup for me. And when I say she copied my whole logo and this beautiful piece, the same way I asked, no problem. And I still got it in two days. So with that being said, definitely... We wanted to put out there to support small businesses because you have to start from somewhere. You didn't just like Louis Vuitton and all them. They had to start from scratch somewhere. So they didn't just be famous just because they had to start from the ground. So this is her starting from the ground. And like I said, we all need to show support. And this is what the culture gang is all about, is about showing support Absolutely. for 
all small businesses and things like yeah. that. Um, and that's awesome. number one. Number so, two, this is a sneak because he didn't know I was going to bring this to y'all. So next week, next week, y'all know, y'all know Juneteenth is coming up. So I keep hearing a lot of people saying that they don't know what Juneteenth is about. Why? You know, because Juneteenth was not officially really celebrated in no community. So with that being said, we are actually going to do a special on that next week. We're going to bring out what Juneteenth is and why it should be celebrated. We're going to also talk about Independence Day because it actually should have been Juneteenth. I so like we're that. really going to get into the why and let you know the history behind Juneteenth, okay? Absolutely. So, um, touch bases on that next week, you guys. You guys are going to love that one. If you didn't know about it, you're going to know about it next week. All right. Anything so else, y'all? Once, once again, no, not really. But you already know our outlets. You already know where to find us. If you're not on Instagram, be on Instagram. In if you're not on, hey, if you're not on YouTube, get on YouTube. If you're not on TikTok, <laughs> get on TikTok. Because it's all in the description. Everywhere. It's all in the description. But you gotta keep saying it. Hey, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> so we gonna say it, we gonna say it like this then. The culturegang.com. It's where you can get the merch. You dig what I'm saying? You got the merch popping. Culturegang.com. You go get the merch from there. If you want to holler at me personally, it's Aten underscore L underscore Bay on Instagram. And then I'm going to pass it to Danny. So I'm going to tell y'all like this because we're trying to get y'all to get to this website. So this is what just Danny is going to do for y'all. I need one person. So the first person who goes on our site to purchase the merch and can show proof that you purchased the merch by wearing the shirt, I will refund you personally for your first shirt. All right? That's cool. So that, hey, you make sure you I would get do with it. Just I would do it. You get with just Danny because I'll make sure that happens. I'm going to take, it a, I'm gonna take it a step further, Danny. Oh, I'm going to take, okay. take, take it a step further. Look. Listen, not only will we reimburse you for the shirt, we'll give you another shirt. Bang. Bang. That's okay. two shirts for nothing. And how many people have you got this for? You ain't got the nothing first person. But it's the, first the very first person, 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 first person goes that goes that goes on our website, the culturegang.com, and purchases a shirt. We will reimburse you the money through your cash app, plus send you another shirt. Period. Of your liking. Go. Period. So y'all better hurry up. Y'all better get to it. You did. It's been a great time. We uh we love and appreciate y'all. And I love and appreciate my 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 uh family. You know what I'm saying? Just Danny, Fats. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Y'all queens. You know what I'm saying? I'm the king. You dig, and we up out of here though. Peace, out peace, family. Here. Culture gang. Yeah. Culture gang. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> y'all so tight. <laughs>